how to get yourself out of a drought if you're super down bad. This is the last resort. So you're going to want to search for the registered offenders that's near you. I know it sounds crazy, but you're going to keep searching until you find the girl that you want. I will block out her face, but she's an offender, so I don't really care. But after <laughs> you find who you want, you want to search them up on Facebook. From here, this is all you. I can show you how to shoot, but I can't shoot for you every time. I got curious, so I looked at what offense she had. And yeah, she had a great charge in 1999, so she's a freak. I'm trying to show you <laughs> Hey, bro, I don't know about all that, bro. This should come with a disclaimer. It's really the same person, but she's just such a catfish that it's tough defense. It even shows their scars and tattoos and their home address. This isn't like building a my player from the ground up, but it is like buying a used account that already has badges and just picking which one you want. Yo, I just found a baddie, man. Stop playing with me. This is like shopping, but instead of shopping at Neiman Marcus, shopping at Goodwill. So in those terms... I just found a Carhartt jacket. Y'all do y'all thing and have fun. This is public information. Everybody is entitled to know it. If you can't pull a freaky offender, it might just be time for you to go to DR, bro. I've done this once so far. Just once. I was like six months in the drought. I had to get some water. I ain't gonna lie. If she been down for about 10 plus years, man, that, that poom poom might be... That shit might be like a Ziploc bag. Air sealed tight, but at the same time, dog, I don't know if I want to risk it. Shit might have flashbacks and kill me in my sleep. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about it. Nope. 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 look a little suspicious it might be one of those shows they do things in public to see the public's reaction i feel as though that's what that is but things like this do happen how would you feel if your woman worked at a job where she had to take trips with her co-worker how would you feel about that i don't know i feel as though most infidelities happen at the workplace and a business trip is the perfect scenario for somebody to get them cheeks clapped. Of course, you got to play your part and you can't act insecure. You can't act insecure. You can't tell your woman, you know what, I think you need to quit this job. You can't do that, my boy. But how would you handle that situation? The closest I've been to that situation is when my wife worked for the CDC. She had to go to Ethiopia twice. And um, I wasn't really worried about her getting her cheeks clapped overseas. I was more so worried about her getting kidnapped. Because at the time... I worked with a guy from Ethiopia. He was a forklift driver. And he said he was telling me all these crazy ass stories. He had me shook. He was like they were going through some type of civil war and people were getting killed and kidnapped. Like tourists were getting kidnapped. I was mostly worried about that. Y'all know if I do what else, I'ma hop on TikTok and talk my This man, this man of mine, <laughs> just looked me in my eyes with tears in his and said. So you f them? Sir. Sir. You remember when you was in my friend's inbox trying to f them? Sir. You remember when you cheated with my friend? You remember when you were spending nights out or the receipts I found for hotel rooms? You remember how strong I was? You remember how strong I was? I need you to be that strong. Wipe your tears, honey. Because yes, I f them. Anything better than you. It ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. Us be out here the whole world. As soon as our girl gets some, dog, she's ready to turn into Osama bin Laden. Imagining somebody clapping your woman's cheeks is stressful. But when you get actual confirmation that somebody took her to Stroke City. <laughs> Boy, you ready to turn into Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, the clown from It. You ready to kill everything. Regardless of if you was out here partaking in extracurricular activities. To be honest with you, dog, karma. Karma don't forget nobody. Do a group 360, can you? Oh my god, this is good energy. Ooh, you guys are so pretty. I'm sure you guys get hit on all the time. Yeah. 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 Yes. So, which one out of the group do you guys think is the freakiest? I 
75? Damn. This is double standard because I'm judging even though I got friends that got way higher body counts than that. I'm judging. She she been out here in these streets. She had some fun for sure. 72 and 58, is that what you guys said? So, I think she said 78, yeah, I said 52. Oh, okay. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> so, she said you need to go up a little bit more. Alyssa. I'm Taya. I'm Kelsey. Hi, guys. Oh, I didn't know this was Bang Bus Activities. I thought this was a regular street interview. What they finna do? I just got fired for spreading misinformation on the internet. So how about I spread some information about my manager, Allison? How would your boyfriend, what, like to know that you've been hooking up with the stalking manager, Alex, since before I got hired? More importantly, how would the higher-ups like to know about the initiation parties you both throw for the young, attractive new recruits? You best believe I have every receipt necessary, and as soon as I'm finished recording this, I'm sending them straight to your boyfriend, and I'm sure he's gonna be really happy to hear that you and Alex both hit me up for a three-way tennis match. You think you can get away with this, but I lose my job for a silly fictional video I posted to the internet, which by the way, the video uh, was not real, purely fictional, 100% made up, and it was fun. But you get to do all this with no consequences. No way. Absolutely no way. On the bright side, watching you get the consequences you deserve it's going to be a real sweet treat. So mad. I've been wanting to tell this story on YouTube for a long time. But my better judgment is keeping me from doing it. Okay? It's keeping me from doing it. But recently I did hear that one of my supervisors got um, let go for having extracurricular activities with one of the employees. All I'm going to say is, dog, if you work at a job, right, whether it's your career job or just a regular job, man, you shouldn't be messing with the employees. Now, if the other employees are having they freak off, I mean, it is what it is. It's going to happen. But as, as somebody in a position of leadership, you shouldn't be out here trying to get your meat wet. You shouldn't be out here trying to get taken to Stroke City. Because at the end of the day, if that employee decides to put you on front street, that's a possible lawsuit for the company that you work for. It doesn't take too much, bro. You a supervisor, you the manager, you messing with one of the employees, they expecting special treatments because, you know, it's a give and take situation. They giving you taking. The moment you actually try to do your job and say, nah, I can't do that for you. Woo! You're putting yourself in a position to be blackmailed. It don't matter how fat her ass is. It don't matter how pretty she is. It don't matter... How many of the employees then told you that that pussy is easy to get? If you the supervisor, you the manager, stay away. Because there ain't nothing good going to come out of that. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. It's my way off. I'm a lawyer, so I can answer people's. I can have conversation with people about legal. Oh, issues. it's a conversation. You can give legal information. But Correct. Yeah, should, but you can't give legal advice because that, that would make you. They can make the argument that you are their attorney, right? Correct. But if you come okay. up to me and you're asking me about a legal situation, right? That's no different than any conversation you'd have if you called an attorney's office. It was like, hey, let me ask you about the situation I have going on. You're explaining to me what your situation is. Yo, imagine a lawyer semi-offering his services and you arguing with him about it. Why are you even arguing with a lawyer about lawyer shit? And I'm pointing you in the right direction for what it do, how to handle it. I'm not taking on your case. I'm not doing the work for you, right? Also, for what it's worth, there's a very clear disclaimer on the sign that says, I am a lawyer and I'm not your it's lawyer. It's so small, though. Like, who, who's going to look at it? Everybody's asking. No, Everyone sees it. Are well, I got no attorneys? Huh? It doesn't matter. Well, I'm just curious. It does matter. You're arguing with me about the rules. I'm from California. But Great, but this is Georgia. Different laws. Different laws. But you're arguing with me about, like, you're coming at me like I'm doing something wrong. 
That, ladies and gentlemen, is probably the first black Karen I've ever seen. This is Karen activities. And this is on the belt line. This is on the belt line. He's in Atlanta doing that. It's a lot of folks in Atlanta with cases that they don't know how to handle. So you don't know who he could have helped out that day. 